today I want to take a couple minutes just to show you my take on the parallax effect. I really like to make horizontal parallax instead of vertical parallax, so I'm going to show you one method of doing that. So to jump right in, I am using CodePen. Um, so most of the head information is already in there for the HTML. Um, I did import Montserrat off of Google Fonts, so I could use that. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to set up my HTML. I'm going to do a simple container, and that container is going to hold my header, my main, and my footer. So let me go ahead and set that up. Okay, so there's my header, and then I'm going to put in my main. Okay, and then I'm going to put in my footer. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for my HTML. So I've got one simple container, and within that container I've got the header element, the main element, the footer element. So now I'm going to switch to the CSS, um, and I should say before I do that, what I'm going to give the parallax effect to is the main content. So I'll pick out a picture, and then we'll move that horizontally across the screen as we scroll. So within my CSS, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select the body. I'm going to give it a margin of zero so that it hugs the viewport. I don't like the little um, the little white margin that it adds in automatically most times. And then I'm going to go to the container that we created. And I'm going to give it a height of 150, the viewfinder height. Um, and that's so that we can scroll. So you can see over on this side now we have the scroll bar. Okay, now I'm going to do some positioning and some sizing for my header, my main, and my footer. And I'm going to get absolute centering on the text, so I'm going to use Flexbox here. So the first thing I'm going to do is give each one a height of 33%. And then I'm going to display flex. I'm going to align all of the items center so you'll see the text switch to the center of its element and I'm going to justify content center and that is going to shove the text to the center of the element. So now I've got perfect centering of this element and I'll show you that. There's my elements and so you can see the perfect centering of the elements. Okay. All right, so I've got my centering in place, and then I would like to use font family Montserrat. So there's that, and then I'm going to give it a font size of 3M just to get it nice and big. Okay, so that's my sizing and my display for the header, the main, and the footer. Okay, so now I'm going to put in the variation for the parallax effect. So my header and my footer, I'm just going to give a simple black background. So you can see the header and the footer are black there. So the font, I'm going to give a color of white so you can see it. There we go. And that's all I need to do with the header and footer. And then for my main, I'm going to pick a background image. And I've already picked it out. It's from Unsplash, um, which is a great website for finding 
um, free photographs that you can use. So I'm going to put that in there. You can see I've just got this simple um, mountain photograph. So that's my background image. And then I'm going to shift the position down just a little bit. So my background position is going to be 0 pixels and negative 100 pixels. Okay, so it just shifts it down, gets rid of some of the blue space up at the top. All right. Now, for the color of the text, I want to keep the white text, but I do want to make it so that when it moves, I'm going to have this image moving this way. So when this white gets into the mountains and gets into the sky, it's going to disappear a little bit. So I'm just going to give it a very, very small text shadow. So one pixel, one pixel with a five pixel spread. And I'm just going to give it black. So you can see now that that jumps out just a little bit more at you. Okay. All right. So that's all I need for my CSS. Now I'm going to use the background positioning to give the parallax effect. And I don't need too many lines of code for the JS. Um, there are lots of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you a simple way to add event listener on the scroll. You don't want to do this um, for a lot of things because it fires off a lot. Um, but this is one of the simpler ways to do it. So I'm going to just go on to the window and I'm going to add an event listener. So I'm going to listen for a scrolling event. And then I'm going to write my callback function. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the position of the scroll. And I can access that by going to Window, Page, Y, Offset. And then I'm going to grab my main element because that's what I want to adjust based on the page Y offset. So document query selector main. Okay, and then here is going to be my parallax. I'm going to adjust this main style background position. Expand this a little bit so you can see what it's going to do. Okay, I'm going to put in page Y times 0.25 so that it's not scrolling at the same speed, it's scrolling at a quarter speed. Pixels. And then I'm going to keep the negative 100 right here so that I get the, the vertical and not the horizontal. Okay. Or sorry, horizontal and not the vertical. So there's that. And everything should be set now. So okay, let's check it out. So we're at the top. And now I'm scrolling down and you can see that this picture, this background image is shifting as I scroll and it's shifting just a little bit slower than I am scrolling. So you can play with this. You could bring it down to 115 if you wanted to. That's going to scroll even slower. Um, you can go absolutely crazy. Your users won't like you, but you can go crazy um, and just scroll the heck out of it. Really, you can get kind of any effect that you want out of there. I like the quarter scroll, so I'm going to keep with that um, 0.25. Okay, so there is a very simple implementation of a horizontal parallax. Thanks for watching.